Um, I just wanted a brief moment of acknowledgement. Um, I was at the Q&A last year, and there was a lot of tension and a lot of negativity and a lot of negative feelings. And the communication from THO over the past year and some of the changes in the, the West Coast crews and expanded vegan menu and just a lot of like really, really greater levels of communication that we've seen has been great. And I, I felt like you heard us, and we really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for that. Yeah, the Q&A last year was a, a doozy, uh, would be a way to put it. Um, and I think that over the course of having listening sessions with many of our guests, um, going through it on our own, in one case, a uh, tender day of mine finding a YouTube video and asking a lot of questions, we, we really did try to piece through our own our own response and our own failures um, during it. You know, I think that there were some questions we didn't know an answer to, and I think that we could have come out and said that we didn't know more clearly. Um, and that, that's one of the things I think that's tough as an organizer of this event is when you move an entire cruise ship around um, and fill it with uh, beautifully printed signage that's taken a year to make, and talent that's taken a year to contract, it looks like you're an asset organization. We, there are some things that it does take us a long time to really figure out. And it took us, it took us a while to fully debrief with each other and um, time after the community to, to speak with and hear from the community. And that's something that we've rededicated ourselves to um, after that experience. So we really appreciate you sticking with us. Um, and. You know, the, the, the other thing I'll say is that all the concerns that were raised at the Q&A, I think they, it was hard to hear. Um, we had a hard time with it, but it came from a really valid place. And we condemn the situation with Ron Sanders and those policies. Um, and to be unable to give a better answer on stage, like we could have done better not knowing the answer. Uh, but that, it, was, it was a difficult position for us. And, and to be clear, like it was, it was difficult and upsetting, uh, but we bear absolutely no ill will or resentment or anything like that to the people that expressed their concerns. They were important concerns. They were hard to hear, uh, and people needed to express their reaction to what was going on. So to just not that anybody necessarily had that impression, but just to be, you know, to be perfectly clear about it. Like, it was, while it was hard, we absolutely welcomed that feedback uh, and are glad that people had the chance to express it to us directly. We, as I said, we did a lot of learning and a lot of growing. And then that sounds facile, but genuinely, uh, it, it was important you know, to my own personal growth and nothing else. So we genuinely thank everyone for that. And briefly, uh, if you haven't been on Jericho Cruise before, Pretty soon after the cruise, we will send around a survey. And really, that's, that's such a great thing. It was difficult last year, the uh, volume of feedback that we got, but it's super important. And all the things that Drew was talking about that we were able to do better with our communication, a lot of that is from that, that, that feedback that comes from an honest place. Yeah, and I should, there are many things that we've done that I have forgotten to follow. For example, Tara's done a lot of work on engaging more directly with the community, not just throughout the year, but on board, so uh, good job, Karen. Karen, 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 Karen,